Welcome back to the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. This is episode 4, and I just want to say thank you so much for all the support you've left on the last episode of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. So today, guys, we're actually going to go into the jungle. I actually changed my plans because as I was actually exploring more, I did find one of those abandoned temples in the jungle. So I really want to go and check that out and see what we can get from loot from there. But by the way, I did ask you guys in the comment sections to come up with a name for both horses here. But I decided to actually put that in a hold and I'm gonna let you guys give you one more episode to come up with a few names for the horses so make sure you do so in the comment sections down below but we're actually gonna go name a pet uh, not pet horse but a pet dog we have or in this case it's a wolf but you know uh, that's the case for now we're gonna actually go and name him Scooby-Doo that just I think it's a perfect name for our pet wolf here is gonna keep our little shack safe and I just want to say again if you guys enjoy this series make sure to hit that like button let's go and see if we can reach 100 likes and I do have a little special surprise check this out guys we have our shield that has a duck on it we made a banner during one of the streams last night so if you guys don't know I do stream the Minecraft survival let's play here and there and that is why you guys see so much progress. But behind this tree is the ultimate progress you guys have not seen yet. There is a small pathway, as you can see, developing. But you have not seen the tower yet. And they've gone through a big overhaul, and it's going to look amazing now. I'm going to show you guys how it looks. And let's get right into it, guys. So here it is. Ta-da! There it is, guys. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comment sections. Honestly, I think it's the best little tower I've ever built. It's so awesome. You can go across here. I've done a pathway going through all this tower so you can go from any side and once you get to the top you have the perfect view with a little bit of decor inside but look at this you can see everything it's perfect so let me know what you guys think about the tower I worked on it during the live stream and I think it turned out to be a really really nice tower so I'm pretty happy with that and all these paths are going to continue in all the directions around here so it's going to be awesome I also forgot to show you guys one more thing I did work on another farm and this is going to be the area where we're gonna have our farmland for our animals and uh, it's going to be a barn over here that we're going to work on in the next few episodes. But here it is, guys. Check it out. Let me know what you guys think about this as well. It's still a work in progress, but we're definitely going to continue to expand it. And we're going to have our barn right over here. And we're going to make it a big barn. So I'm going to have to save up on a lot of resources because I want to make it red. So we're going to have to get a lot of wool or a lot of clay. So we'll see how we're going to do that. But in the meantime, we're going to go run off into the jungle. And uh, I actually read a few of you guys saying the enchants I did in the last episode wasn't as good as I've been thinking back about it um, you guys were right they weren't the best enchants but we are going to improve on those but for now that's just what we've got to deal with and I built this little makeshift bridge this won't be the bridge that you guys will see it's just all makeshift um, and I think I have enough food but we're gonna name our uh, dog here uh, Scooby-Doo so let's go ahead and do that so come on let's go let's go oh my gosh all right you stay here horsey do not go anywhere okay you can stay over there How's it going, chickens? All right, so let's name our um, our pet. Let's go name him Scooby-Doo. There it is. And we are all set. We have our first name tag. And there it is, Scooby-Doo. Where are you? There you are. All right, you can sit down. He has a name now. Uh, do I have any bones? I do not. But you know what? I'll give him a little bit of food. I don't know if he eats cooked food. There you go. I'll give you a little bit there. But let's go on an adventure, guys. We're going to go and find ourselves this temple, which is not too far off in the jungle. I think I have everything I need with me. Uh, we're going to get some more bows. I think that's all the arrows I have. Not bows, but arrows I meant. Uh, we have plenty of food, and we got pretty much everything we do need. So, wait, you know what? This is good enough for me. Let's go on our adventure, horse. Let's do this. So, I still don't have a name for him. Eventually, we're going to come up with a name for him. Don't worry about that. But uh, I'm, I'm still thinking I want something to be majestic for him because he is a he is an awesome horse and I feel like we're gonna go take him on this journey because he he'll get us he'll get us there pretty quickly but it's gonna be really difficult going through all these trees you have no idea especially through the jungle I'm really kind of worried in a bit but we'll, hopefully we'll be able to uh, take him into the jungle so it should be straight ahead because I was walking and exploring the jungle a bit and it was somewhere straight into here so we're just gonna keep walking until we find it. It's not too difficult to miss because it's a big, big block of uh, of cobble. So uh, that's something we're not gonna really miss. And it's actually quite easy to go through the jungle with a horse. Surprisingly, I thought it'd be a much more difficult experience. But look at this. We're just like going along quite quickly. And we're here already? 
Jeez, that was quick. All right, so uh, that was quite the quick journey right there. And by the way, if you guys don't know the story behind the shield with the duck, someone actually donated it in our stream $114. So because of that, he's going to be a legend on this Let's Play. We're going to build him a monument. I forgot to mention that. But we're going to have to find a safe place for our horse here. All right, man, don't go anywhere, okay? <laughs> so let's go check out this temple. This is the first temple I actually ever... Uh, I think ever checked on a on a on a video before, so this is gonna be really cool. So let's just go from down here. There's like no entrance. What the heck? Where's the entrance? Oh, it's blocked in by dirt. All right. Well, we might actually do something with this temple. So I'm gonna put some torches around here. So next time we're around, we can actually maybe develop this into something because it is really cool looking. I gotta be honest, they are pretty awesome. All right, let's go ahead down here. Now, I know from watching other people's uh, Let's Plays that there are arrows that get shot out. So we can definitely get some arrows for our bow and arrow. But there should be redstone or a tripwire here. There it is. So we Oh, geez. Okay. I'm pretty sure we can still go past it. Yeah, we're good. We broke the 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 wire. We'll take the, uh, what's it called? Tripwires? Are these called the tripwires? Yeah, tripwire hook. And let's keep exploring. Now, I wonder how many arrows are actually in here. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we got ourselves 10 arrows. That's not bad. And I'm actually going to take this as well. We're going to loot this whole place right away. And I'm going to take so much of this cobble, uh, messy cobblestone, mossy cobblestone, because it is honestly amazing. And we do have a chest, which I'm excited to see. So am I going to be attacked here? No, we're good. Oh, geez, that was close. Okay, let's collect this. Perfect. And let's get all these blocks. Let's actually see how many. Uh, we got only one bow, but we'll still take this. All right, let's see what's in here. Moment of truth. Oh man, what is this? Rotten flesh? I was excited to get something better than just rotten flesh. But I know there's another chest around here that we're going to explore and try to find it. And I think you have to open one of these switches and something opens. I think something has to open here or on this side. Let's go try again and see maybe something will open. Oh, I heard it. I think it opened up. And it should be somewhere back here. That's interesting. Where the heck is the... Uh there should be a small little doorway or a little underground uh, like tunnel that brings us down there. What the heck? Is it somewhere else? Did they move it? Is it here? This is interesting. This is like the first time I'm trying to figure this one out. Pathway should be down here. See, it's not moving it for some reason. So let's go ahead and get down here. I don't know why. It, it, that's just weird. That's a glitchy one. It should be opening. It looks like the redstone was messed up. That's weird. Okay, well, whatever. We're going to take this piston. It's definitely going to be useful for us. I'll tell you that much. This is going to be actually really useful for us. Sticky pistons are not easy to find, and they're not easy to make, too. So this is a beautiful one for us. And we got one of those redstone plates, uh, redstone repeaters. All right, so let's see what's in here. Oh, we got a book. All right, I'm not going to look at it yet. I'm not. I'm pretty I'm okay with this. If it's a good book, then I'm happy. We'll take the bones, but let's see what it is. Aqua Affinity and Power 3, Curse of Vanishing. Guys, I have no... I, I mean, I'm, I'm not really experienced at this whole enchanting thing, but let me be honest with you. Curse of Vanishing, I have no idea what that means, but it seems like this is a pretty rare book. Let me know in the comment sections if it's rare or not, because... From what, from what I hear so far, like Curse of Vanishing, it could be nothing or it could be really good. So I'm going to take all of this mossy stone with me because let me tell you something. This stuff is really great for building, especially for what I want to build. Now, obviously, you could be saying, well, why are you destroying this beautiful temple? Well, let me be honest with you guys. I don't really think we're going to be doing too much here, even though I suggested we could be doing something here. But I'd rather take all this mossy stone and use it for a better build for the bridge I want to make because I want to keep like a nice theme around here. And I think mossy stone does the job for the most part for what i'm looking to do so we'll take as much of this as possible we'll come back loot a bit more but we actually might have time to go to the nether in today's episode all right we should be good let's get the heck out of here it's turning night and you know what happens in the night a lot of creepers come out and it's not safe so we got to get the heck out of here so our horse doesn't die so let's just jump up here let's get some food is there any creepers around here guys i definitely want to build in this jungle it looks really awesome so that's something i'm going to definitely consider that's for sure and you know what? we're going to throw some chickens here let them uh enjoy the jungle a little bit all right so hopefully the the creepers or any other mobs that want to kill me will be like happy enough that i gave them some chicken there we go all right so let's get out of here let's go back home to our safe home because there are too many deadly animals around here like that skeleton that just missed that almost got me that was a close one. All right, let's get out of here. It's actually quite easy to go around in the jungle with a horse. I never thought that would be the case, but look at this. It's just quick and moving around. So uh, that's actually, it's almost it almost feels harder. Whoa. 
what is going on? Do wolves get mad at night? Oh, geez. We got... Okay, we're getting out of here. I got distracted, but that wolf wasn't happy. So, I don't know what that is about. Scooby-Doo, save me, please. I think it's up this little hill right here. There it is. And we need to get some sleep ASAP because these these and these these mobs are not happy with us. They definitely want us dead. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go inside here. All right. You know what? We're going to have to jump this fence. Jump in here. Okay. You can't jump right now, horse. You tired? What is this? Okay. We have to go to sleep so we can not get blown up by any other creepers. All right. We should be good. So that is everything we got from that loot, which is not too bad. So I'm going to throw everything in there as well. We did get pistons. We did get other supplies that we might have never gotten uh, for a while. So it's good that we actually got that now. And did you guys know, I found out during a stream, you can actually make string into wool. Like, when was this a thing? I, I honestly was so blown away when I found out about that. We'll go into the nether. We have five minutes to go and explore a little bit of it. So let's go ahead and do that. Do I have flint? Do I have iron somewhere? I should have a little bit of iron. Perfect. We got to make a flint and steel. So we can go through this portal. There we go. And we're going to go and place this portal, actually. Let's give it a shot, guys. I don't think it's too bad. And we can always take it down and move it, right? I think that's I think that's a good that's a good case for us. So let's just put it next to our enchantment table. All right, there we go. We'll just put it right here. This will be the spot for it. One, two. Bam. There it is. We have our portal, everybody. Obviously, uh, this shouldn't be here. This should go away. And we're going to light this this guy up. And hopefully we don't die when we go to this uh, this teleport. So once it brings us to the nether, hopefully we get a good spawn. So let's let's pray for the best. And all right, guys, are you ready for this moment of truth? This is going to be a little bit nerve-wracking. And what do we have here? We have dispensers. All right, let me actually just place the dispensers right here for now. There we go. And we're going to take everything else with me. That's more than enough stuff for us. Our sword is quite weak, but we don't really have to worry about that. All right, let's light this up and see where it brings us. Moment of truth. Let's do this. I'm a little bit worried. I got to be honest with you. Sometimes these spawns are really, really bad. So we need to go deeper. We got the achievement. I'm pretty happy. We're going far. Oh, my gosh. This is creepy. Okay. Oh, that looked really scary at first because I saw, I saw red, and I was like, are we in lava? What is going on? But... We are in a safe spot and a lovely area to actually build in. Guys, this is actually a really perfect spawn to actually build more into uh, the nether here. We're definitely going to do a hub. Look at this. This is a really safe spawn. So let's actually quickly get ourselves some quartz because this gives tons of XP. And like you guys all said, you wanted me to do better enchants level 30 for diamond armor, which we will do. We're going to do a new diamond armor enchant. The one I have is like kind of like a temporary thing, uh, but we're definitely going to do a really good enchant on our diamond armor. And quartz is the way to go when you want more XP. Like, look at this. We're leveling up like an in a matter of just seconds it's it's so nice but let's go quickly and explore a bit more anything else around here just before we we end off today's episode i want to see is there a fortress or anything nearby doesn't look like there is um there's a big drop over there which i do not want to be a part of that drop all right cool i want to get i really want to get that uh that glowstone because we can definitely use it for some design let's take that out of the way all right do i see anything down here no i do not all right it's definitely a far drop I'm not going to go get that glowstone because it doesn't look really friendly right now for us. It looks kind of dangerous. And there's lava in there. So, geez. All right. What's up, pigmen? What's up, man? All right. Let's keep looking around. This is actually quite interesting. We'll use our torch to, to go around. Oh, my gosh. Look at all the pigmen that spawn next to our portal. What's up, guys? We are just friendly people checking out your world here. Not really trying to cause any harm. So let's keep looking around. Oh, perfect. We're going to get all this glowstone because let me tell you something. This glowstone is awesome to have in this world. Uh, we're definitely not in this world, but our our town. We're going to use a lot of glowstone because it really adds a lot of cool light. So I like it. It's going to be good for the tower as well. I want to put uh, some light above the tower. And I want to add some other stuff around our homes. And it's really good for decor. So I like it. This is perfect. Just get as much of it as possible. There we go. That's good enough. We'll come back for more. That's for sure. And, all right. Sorry, man. I didn't mean to take most of your glowstone there. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Is there a fortress around here somewhere nearby? If there is, we are going to hit the jackpot here. But like I said, it's it's always difficult to try and find them. But we will find it. We will do uh, an episode of going through and finding fortress. There's the magma blocks over there, which are really cool. Uh, definitely going to get a few of those. Nothing under there. All right, let's keep looking around, see if there's anything else. Now, I don't want to lose where our portal is, but it's right over here. If I'm not mistaken, it should be right somewhere here. Did I lose it? This is bad. No, it's right there. Okay, we'll put a torch over there and a torch over here, and we should be all set to go. 
So yeah, we're not really we we didn't really hit the best spot to find, for example, a fortress, but we did get a good spawn for our um for what's it called for our portal, which is gonna be good for us because we're gonna be building something cool there. Yep, I still don't see a fortress. So, I mean, it's not the end of the world. I couldn't say it's not it's not really bad, but this is a drop. That's for sure. Look at that. All right. Um, I can't really find anything else. So I think we're gonna call it to the end of our episode today. But we're still going to do a quick little look around here and see if there's anything else catching our attention. Let's see. That is seriously a far drop. Like, we'd be screwed if we fell in there. All right. Yeah, I don't see a fortress around here. But it's not a big deal. We will find one. I promise you guys that we will do a fortress raiding episode uh, because that has a lot of freaking supplies. Like, that probably will give us so much extra supplies, just like we did from our first episode of raiding all those villages. It'll probably give us double the amount. So it'll be amazing. It'll be fantastic. So let's see, anything else that maybe we can spot from around here? Probably not. All right, you know what? Not a big deal. I'm really pleased with this uh, spawn, though. Like, this is seriously, it's got walls. It's got flat roof, flat uh, uh, ceiling, I mean, and flat floor. You don't really get that. Usually you spawn in a really difficult area to build. But I'm quite happy with this one. So uh, with that being said, let's go back home. I'm pretty happy with this spawn, that's for sure. And uh, we're going to explore in the next episode. We're going to do probably more exploring. That, Oh, jeez. We have so many pigmen. Oh, my gosh. Pigmen, what are you doing here? This is not your... This is not your... You got to get out of here, dude. There we go. I have to go through the portal to teleport him back out. But, hey, we could actually have some pet pigmen here. So, um, I mean, because they're here, why not? Let's see if we can possibly here. Come with me, uh, Scooby-Doo. Come over here, dude. You don't want to be near those pigmen, okay? They're not really too friendly. I mean, they are kind of friendly. They haven't caused any trouble yet to me, so... Uh, but we do want to uh, block them off quickly. I, I don't mind keeping them as pets, I guess. I don't know. Not pets, but just, like, someone that can just hang around. We don't have any fences. All right, they're just going to be chilling around here. Where the heck is Scooby-Doo? All right, sit over there. All right, you eat the leaves. Let's keep looking around. Um, I almost feel like we should fight them. I don't know. I think we should. I mean, it's it, no. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fight them. Yeah, we they gotta get out of here. This is not safe for us. There we go, and we got ourselves a golden nugget. There we go. Sweet. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, let's take these back. Uh, I was thinking about keeping them as pets, and then I thought about. It. I was like, I don't know why they're going to attack my chickens. It felt like they were gonna go attack my chickens. So I was like, you know what? We're just gonna have to part ways with the pigmen. Alrighty, so if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button. Let's go ahead and see if we can reach 100 likes for today's episode. Like I said, thank you again for all the support you left on uh, the last episode. I truly appreciate it, guys. And we're going to keep uploading as much of this Survival Let's Play. We're going to be doing a lot of things, like I said, in the next episode. I think in the next episode, we're either going to go explore the nether and find a fortress, or we're going to go and work on our farm or work on some other builds down across over there. But I'll tell you this much, we're going to have to build a new house soon enough because this is getting quite small for us. And space-wise, we're filling up quite quickly. So, yeah, I think we're going to be in the next few episodes. We're going to be building our beautiful home somewhere across over there. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed again, hit that like button. I'll catch you guys next time with another episode of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. Peace out and stay foxy.